Hello my soccer universe for another collection video. This time we're talking about this admittedly really nice looking 2010-2011 Germany jersey that I got in the run up to Euro 2020 but in 21 because we know Corona this was postponed by a year. Um, at the time, to be honest, I mean I had already my 2014 uh, Germany jersey. I was not really not necessarily looking for another Germany home, home home jersey, but then I always thought, you know, if the big nations it would be nice to double up. I saw this one pop up at Wilhaben and it cost me all of 10 euros. I said, yeah, that's that's too good of a deal for a shirt that honestly I've always enjoyed. I remember this coming out and I uh, was not very sold on many of the um, kids at the 2010 World Cup, but I have to say this Germany jersey was one of those, together with the Spain jersey and the France away jersey, where I thought it actually looks quite decent. Now it was really easy for me to get this shirt, I just texted the one, he said, um, I see you living in Linz, we can meet next day. I drove a few minutes, we met, he gave me the jersey, all 10 bucks. And I got another Germany shirt. Curiously enough, uh, it's another Germany shirt where the Eagle logo is not in black on white, which is still typically Germany, but none of the Germany shirts that I have has the Eagle black on white. It's either golden on black or silver on black or, you know, so <laughs> white on green, stuff like that. But I would say let's look at a few more details because while it may look simple and in that sense very Germany simple, it has actually quite some nice details in there that I want to show you. From a distance, it's all what I expect from a Germany shirt. White with the black um, Adidas straps, a black collar, black sleeve cuffs. But however, it's not as simple. First of all, you have this really nice off-center strap uh, that actually displays proudly the German flag colors, although black, red and gold. But this is uh, was a misconception, it was very popular at the time, that um, you know gold is, in lexicological terms, the name for yellow. However, since it's called Schwarz-Rot-Gold, Black-Red-Gold, Germany went a little, little bit crazy at, at the time by putting gold colors on there, which are not the correct ones. But, you know, so, so, so be it actually. I think it looks re really nice, uh, this, and running through the crest. What I find rather odd is, is that at the material you see, there is some additional uh, stripes printed into the material, which to me, I would um, like to know why that is. Uh, because there's no reason for, for it. I think there are four to the left and four to the right. As I said, the Federation crest is in gold on black and the black shield. This is positively odd, to be honest, for Germany, but it reminded me of the one that they were wearing for Euro 96. Also, it's very nice uh, plastic uh, detailing in there and then in the three stars are actually the years of the three titles so we have 54 74 and 90 yes the 90 came four years too early honestly because otherwise it would be really nice 54 74 94 2014 so every 2020 is the germans win a world cup uh i actually like this color I'm not so sure we needed the golden detailing going around here or, you know, either make it go all the way. This is made the one thing that looks a little, little bit odd. They are the typically patches. This is not the player version. This is, of course, the uh, fan version. But then there's another one. We have still the golden detailing here, but with a twist. If you pull it up, the German flag is in there, which is a detail that I did not realize upon release. I realized this once I had the shirt. Uh, I have to say, that's a really, really nice trick uh, to have there. So we have a traditional looking Germany shirt without any, uh, with a few hidden features in there. On the back it says, of course, Deutsche Fußballbund. Also very nicely put on there in a kind of, a, you know, it's almost, it's a silicone transfer, but very, very nicely put on there. So uh, really, really well done. I actually, what, what I like with this shirt also is, uh, and this was the uh, Adidas style that they kept this space here for, for, for the patches, gave it a little bit of a military uniform look. Not that I'm a military guy, but it's very for this Spain shirt, you know? And here too, looks like these are your stripes. And then um, it has a certain, um, you know, official feel to it, if you like. On the bottom, of course, is the Adidas tag from the Jabulani. Uh, pattern. It's the Klamakul version and of course 
Thanks. Now, most of you will remember this shirt from the German run to the semi-finals where it was worn quite often, I think, in the first two group games against Australia for nil win and a uh, loss to Serbia in the second one. They did not wear it against Ghana, but then it was worn, of course, in the 4-1 romp over England. And then again in the semi-final when Spain actually ousted also them. So uh, it had actually quite, quite some showings, but unusual for Germany, the away jersey had even more showings. Uh, what we saw at this tournament was the, a real transformation of the German team, I, I, I would say, from a meanwhile good again uh, European team to an absolute world-class juggernaut. A juggernaut that was built to beat Spain and just didn't get cross it over, over the line. It was really then shown when it was worn in Euro 2012 qualifying where Germany definitely looked terrifying. At the World Cup, Spain was still the better team, I would even argue, argue Dutch, but in qualifying, Germany for once did not get an easy group. Uh, it was a group with Turkey, with Belgium and with Austria. In there, Austria had no chance against Germany whatsoever, but Germany romped through a group, getting 10 wins out of 10. And in the process, you know, the likes of uh, Klose, Tom, uh, Klose was, was, was already a star, but we had uh, Thomas Müller, can can come this for Mesut Özil, uh, Sami Khedira, uh, all the great uh, players of that era, really finding their own and taking Germany to the next level. So uh, this is a jersey that instilled a lot of fear in a lot of op opponents. It just at the Euros, it did not get it over the line. It needed another jersey for that to happen. But yeah, these are my thoughts on this. As I said. As an Austrian, liking a Germany jersey is not an easy thing, but I have to say this is a Germany jersey that looks class, it looks classic German. Maybe the only thing is the crest could use a little bit of a different setup, uh, you know, lose the shield and make it white on black. But other than that, it's pretty much the quintessential Germany shirt and it actually, I don't need in that sense a classic Germany shirt anymore. I really, really like that one from the get go and you know, the off center. Uh, band was always a favorite design feature of mine. What do you think of this jersey? Any memories attached to it? In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon with other shirts. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!